Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 31. And this lecture onwards, we are going to cover some important techniques uh, which are involved, which are present in big ADNF microcontrollers. So we are starting today timer series. Basically, in, in coming few uh, four to five lectures, we will actually learn about timers and how one can program timer uh, in a pic 18 f microcontroller. Uh, one important point that one need to know, what is a timer? Timer is a device by which you can actually generate specific and exact amount of delays or uh, you can count uh, various events happening uh, in the environment of pic 18 f microcontroller. So we will be starting timers uh, from this lecture. So very first topic that we need to cover is timer zero control register. There are various registers involved in timer programming of the KDNF microcontroller and timer zero control register is very important register. So uh, before we go and start, we need to know that there are four different timers available, which are numbered from timer zero, timer one, timer two, and timer three. So there are four different timers available and we will be exploring timer zero control in during this course you, you can actually apply the same logics or same principles to each and every uh, other timer but we will be trying to cover only timer zero and to cover timer programming we need to know their basic register and this is the very first register that we are understanding so t0 means timer zero and control mean timer zero control register right so this is a first register that we have to see so let's see what we have here to understand about timer zero control register. Okay, this is the timer zero control register and these are the individual bits. Uh, you can count them, they are actually eight bits, right? From starting from zero to seven number bits. So like pic 18 f 452 microcontroller is basically eight bit microcontroller. So every internal register present inside uh, pic 18 f 452 is an 8-bit micro 8-bit register. So timer 0 control register is also an 8-bit register. Uh, we, are, we, uh, we, we can see that there are uh, numerous functions uh, associated with each and every bit of timer 0 control register and we will be trying to understand them. So very first bit from the most significant side is D7 bit or that is known as TMR0 on. You have to uh, pay your attention very closely because you see this zero and then this is O. So this is timer zero on. So this bit is also known as on and off bit for this timer. So when we are ready to start the timer or when we are ready to count certain events so what we have to do we have to turn on this bit right so you know that that is why one can see that whenever this bit is zero then timer zero control register is off and whenever this bit is basically one then timer zero control register or timer zero is in on mode right so this thing we have to note it down that uh, when timer zero is basically timer zero TMR, right? Zero and then O N, right? On timer zero on is equal to zero. That means it is in off condition. That we have to monitor, that we have to know. And similarly, let me write it for you. So I have written it for you. When timer zero on is equal to zero, then timer zero will be off or it will not be counting or it will not be uh, providing any kind of synchronization to provide any delay or when timer zero on is equal to one then timer zero uh, on is basically uh, on and it will it will be in counting mode right so you can say that uh, counting means producing certain amount of delay right so uh, in the start, what it should be, it should be zero because why? Because when timer zero control register is not properly configured since we see that there are number of bits here. So when it is not in proper configuration mode, then it should be in zero mode. 
then we go to the next bit next bit is what time at 08 bit time at 08 bit uh, is actually uh, selection mode uh, to provide two different ways of timer zero control register right timer zero control or timer zero can actually operate in two different modes one operate is 16 bit mode right one is basically 16 bit mode that means you can count uh, up to 16 bit and other another mode is basically eight bit so you can count up to eight bit right for example you know that uh, for example you know that uh, in eight bit you can go from zero zero hacks to ff hacks right this is the maximum count you can go right but if you choose uh, 16 bit right this is the uh, for eight bit and for 16 bit you know that this count can actually be composition of four hexadecimal symbols. So in 16 bit, you can actually start from four times zero and you can go up to four times F. So that means you have provision available in two types of uh, counting. So timer zero uh, can be operated in eight bit in which in it will count only double F or up to double F. That means 256 in decimal. And uh, in 16 bit mode, it can actually count up to four times F in hexadecimal, which is equal to 65,536 uh, in decimal, right? So uh, timer zero, eight bit is whenever it is high, that means eight bit mode is on. Whenever it is zero, then it means timer zero, eight bit is off. That means timer zero will be controlled or will be operated in 16 bit mode. So if timer zero, eight bit is equal to zero, that then it means we are operating it in 8-bit mo mode, if timer 0, 8-bit is equal to 1, then we are operating it in 16-bit mode, right? Similarly, the third bit is basically timer 0 clock source, which is CS. CS means clock source. In timer 0, we have two types of source available. One can use the built-in clock, uh, which is provided through the clock oscillator of device uh, itself. You know that pick 18 f 452 at the end it is a integrated circuit and it is a, it's an ic and it needs a clocks to be operate right so we connect crystal oscillator xtal xtel right so if we use the same source so that means we are using internal source but one can also connect extra source so extra source means we will not be using internal source of pic 18 f microcontroller or pic 18 f 452 will not be sharing its own clock rather there will be separate clock so there are two types uh, one can be it can be zero zero means internal or it is sharing the clock of pic 18 f microcontroller or it can be simply one that means it is providing or it is using external clock right so Timer zero CS can be two, uh, it can be, there can be two options for it. So if it is zero, that means internal clock will be used or clock will be shared with XTEL, which is provided to a pic 18 f 452 right? And if timer zero CS or clock source is equal to one, that means external clock would be equal to, uh, ex external clock will be used. And if external clock is used, that means we will not be sharing internal clock of pic 18 rather there will be a separate clock and which will be applied on this pin ra4 pin if you remember there are multiple functions on every pin of microcontroller so if we are using external clock then ra4 pin will be utilized to provide that external clock okay now we come to the fourth bit which is timer 0 se se means source age you know that at the end uh, the clock which is provided to timer either it is internal or external, it is a clock, right? It, there will be positive cycle, there will be negative cycle, right? And you know that there are uh, ICs which work only on, uh, or logical gates which work only on edges, right? Not on the levels, right? So you know that there are positive, there can, there can be positive edge trigger device or there can be negative edge. So this is basically positive edge and this is the negative edge. Similarly, uh, timer zero, can actually work on positive, uh, either on positive edge or on negative edge. So if your timer zero source edge bit is zero, that means we are referring towards positive edge. And if it is one, that means we are referring towards negative edge. Let me write it for you. So basically 
for timer zero source h if we have two options if it is zero that means we are considering positive h source or we will be incrementing our timer on positive h source and if it is uh, equal to one then we will be incrementing our timer on negative h right so the uh, that's it from this fourth bit let's go to the fifth bit which is pre scale assignment right PSA is pre-scale assignment, and this is the thing that we will be understanding on need base because uh, if I'm going to explain it, it will actually uh, require certain examples. So I will not discuss this bit, but I will tell you one thing which is important. If you just make it this one, this bit is equal to one. That means rest of the bits are of no use. We uh, these values become don't care, right? because we are actually disabling this prescaler right there is a concept of prescaler and we will cover it in different lecture so uh, right now i'm just disabling it so if you make it one that means prescale is or prescale assignment is disabled so if psa is equal to 1 then prescale assignment is disabled and if psa is equal to 0 then prescale assignment is enabled for uh, in the start of timer zero control programming we will actually or we in timer zero programming we will actually disable it because uh, unless we need it we won't use it so when we will need it i will explain these uh, prescaler assignment how one can use these prescaler assignments right but right now we will we are going to uh, disable it in every coming example or in starting example of timer zero control register Okay, let's have some example so that you can actually know how we are going to use this control register, right? So let's say we want to, uh, we are just configuring it and we don't want to timer to be started. So we will turn it off. So turning it off, we, time, we will put zero on this bit. Timer zero on bit is basically zero. That mid timer zero is currently off. And let's say we are using it in uh, 16 bit mode. So we will be using zero in timer zero eight bit right and clock source let's say we will be using positive age so positive age we sorry it's a clock source which is internal version let's say we are using internal one so we will make it zero right and for source age let's say we make it negative age triggered timer so we will be providing one here right and this one is where psa in a start, we, we know that we are not going to use any prescale assignment, so we will disable it, so we will put one here. Since af after putting this one, other values won't matter, so you can put either zero or one. So let's say we put zeros in it. Uh, we know that these values matter only when this prescaler is enabled. Right now, this prescaler is disabled, so these values doesn't matter. But I'm just taking dummy values to explain the concept of timer zero control register now i have put uh, values to every single word every single bit of timer zero control register so you know that if i'm going to convert it into hexadecimal what it would be you know that is in a start you have triple zero one which is means it is uh, one hexadecimal and one triple zero which means eight so let's say i want to put this value inside timer zero control and how i am going to do it let me write command for you. So timer zero control, move literal to working. You can either write in binary, triple zero one and one triple zero, right? Or you can simply, uh, okay, uh, I will write it for first in binary. Or you can use simply move literal to working. Both statement will be used, uh, will be providing same data to working register. You can use them in, work, in hexadecimal. So triple zero one means one and one triple zero means eight in hacks, right? So this value is put inside working register and now we want to move it into timer zero control. So what you have to do, you have to write move working file timer zero control. This is the thing that I wanted to tell you. Uh, you know that this is zero and this is O. So this is why timer zero control, right? And why, why I'm treating this timer zero control as a file register because this is the part of your special function register, which is the part of your file register. So timer zero control register is part of your file register. This is the thing that I wanted to tell you. So if I'm going to execute these lines, right? These two lines move literal to working one at hacks and move working file timer zero control hacks. Then that means one at hacks will move inside this timer zero control file 
or timer zero control register, which means timer zero will be operated like this. That timer zero is off. Timer zero is operating in 16 bit mode. Timer zero uh, is using internal clock. Timer zero is going to increment it on negative edge and prescaler is disabled. So this is how you can actually configure a timer zero control register. I hope you have understand this concept. Okay, that's it from this video tutorial. If you have any question regarding this topic, or if you have any confusion to understand any of the aspect of this topic, please post your queries in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.